Hello, this is Jeff at Magical Fruit Toots. In part one of this two-part Photoshop tutorial, you will stylize a map of downtown Chicago. You will use the modified cut map style. In part two, you will stylize the same map using the wood inlay style. If you have not yet done so, you should view the Photoshop Map Arts Basics tutorial on this channel for instructions on how to make the basic map and to export it to Photoshop. First, you should create a basic downtown Chicago map using the open source tile mill program and the mapzen.com metro extracts downloads to receive the map data files as necessary. If you have a problem displaying Chicago in tile mill, see the example at the end of the Photoshop map art tutorial on this channel. For Chicago, I used MapZen Metro Extracts. For the Chicago metro area. Then chose Chicago, Illinois, USA. Then chose the Chicago metro area extract. On the download page, normally you would also need the water coastline shapefiles to get an accurate coastline where a large body of water is involved. However, the water coastline shapefile for the Chicago metro area is currently not working. Select the OSM PG SQL download button to download the shapefile. As a workaround for Lake Michigan coastline shapefiles, you can go to the Great Lakes mapping site at maps.glin.net. Enter Lake Michigan and select it in the search area. You will be taken to the Lake Michigan page. Scroll down to the Lake Michigan shoreline area. Click the globe icon labeled SHP. Then download the file. You also should get the shape for the Chicago downtown business area from this site. I'll put a link in the description area. Choose the Export tab. Then select Shape File. Download your file. If you are working with a different city, you could search the internet for the shape files. To make it easier for you, I have placed the Cardo CSS code for the downtown Chicago map in the description area for this tutorial. Make these changes to the basic map code if needed. Here are the layers I used. Notice that there are two polygon layers, Polygon and Polygon 2. This is necessary to show the river, both below and above, the business district shape. If you click on the pencil edit icon, you can view or change the layer settings for a given layer. Click the Polygons pencil to edit the Polygons layer. You can see that the Chicago OSM2 PGSQL shapefile is the data source. When I edit the Polygons 2 layer, note that it uses the same data source, just a different ID, i.e. Polygons 2. The Business District layer points to the shape files downloaded from the City of Chicago site demonstrated earlier. The Coast layer points to the shape files downloaded from the Great Lakes mapping site for the Lake Michigan coastline. Please note that the order of the layers is very important. Here are the changes to the Cardo CSS code. Notice the at water line near the top of the code. The at variable was used. You can define a variable this way. In this example, I have defined the at water variable to be the color number BBBAB8. Later on in the code for the river and lake, instead of having to type in the color again, you just replace the color number with at water, as shown here. Other code changes are large roads, line width should be 2.5. Secondary roads, line width should be 2.0. Notice that I have split out the residential roads as a separate code block here. Highway equal residential is no longer in the secondary highway code block, but has its own code lines. Residential roads, 
Line width should be 1.5. Add the Business District code block. Add the Polygons 2 code block. Add the Coast code block. No airport runways code needed for this area. Open the Chicago Begin Photoshop file. Make sure layers from top to bottom are Streets, River, Lake, Business, and Layer 1. Rename the bottom layer to City. Select the top layer. Hold down Shift and select the bottom layer. Right click and choose Rasterize Layers. Make the Streets layer active. Choose the Crop tool with Square set to 1 to 1 ratio. Check the Delete Crop Pixels box. Drag down from the top to adjust the size. Leave plenty of room on the bottom for the city name. Press Enter or the big check mark to accept. Press Shift plus Control or Command plus I. Then upscale back to 4000 pixels. Use Bicubic Smoother Enlargement. Press Control or Command plus Zero to fit to screen. Save the file. It will be saved as Chicago Begin. This will be a good beginning point to go back to if necessary. Turn on the Hand tool to turn off the Crop tool. Move to the lake layer. If you turn off the eye of the lake layer, you will see that the city boundary extends into the lake. To move it back to the coastline, move to the city layer. Control click the lake layer. Now hold down Alt while selecting the Add Layer Mask icon. Now you should see that the city layer has been removed at the shoreline. Turn back on the lake layer I. Next, to clean up the business layer, select the business layer. Control click the city mask, not the city layer. Open the brush tool. Alt click the business gray to sample its color. Now, while still in the business layer, paint over the area of Black City which should be part of the business district. Deselect. Save as Chicago 1, so we can always come back to Chicago Begin if needed. Next, clean up the big highways on the left. The big highways on the left need a little touch-up. Press Z to choose the Zoom tool. Move the Zoom cursor over the center of the left highway as shown. Hold down the mouse to expand. Let go of the mouse to stop zooming. Choose the brush tool. Alt or Option click the highway to sample the color. Move to the streets layer. Press P to select the pen tool. In the settings, the tool mode should be shape. The fill color is a foreground color you just sampled. Start at the point shown. Now, without letting go of the mouse, choose the bottom left point. Then drag to the left until the curves outside the ridges that are sticking out are covered. Let go of the mouse when satisfied. Alt or Option click the middle square of the stretching arms. Click the lower right portion of the area as shown. Now hold down the mouse while selecting the upper point as shown. Then drag to the left until the curves outside the ridges that are sticking out are covered. Let go of the mouse when satisfied. Click the starting point to close the shape. Press Enter to finish. The big highway should now look much better. If you mess up, you can always just delete the shape layer and start over. Right click and rasterize the shape layer. Hold down control and press the streets layer. Right click and merge the layers.
Rename the new layers Streets. Press Ctrl or Command-0 to fit the screen. Next, to add a background for the city name text. Press D for the default colors. Move to the Streets layer. Control shift n to add a new layer. Name it Text BG. Use the Rectangular Marquee tool to drag a selection on the bottom of the image, as demonstrated. Once placed, use Select, Transform Selection to adjust. You want the height of about 450 pixels, or a little more than 11% of the total image height. When satisfied, press Enter. Press Ctrl or Command-0 to fit the screen. Now fill with black by pressing Alt or Option plus Backspace. Change the fill opacity to 75%. Deselect. Next we will make a white stroke layer around the city. Press Shift plus Ctrl or Command plus N to add a new layer to the top. Name it Stroke. Press Shift plus F5 and fill it with a 50% gray. Add a Stroke Layer style to the Stroke Layer. Size 80, or about 2% of the image width. Position inside, and color white. Cursor over the Stroke Effect name. Right-click and choose Create Layer. Right-click on the new layer created on top and choose Release Clipping Mask. Now delete the stroke layer below it. Rename the top layer Stroke Only. Control-click the Stroke Only thumbnail to make a selection of the stroke. Choose Select, Save Selection, and name it Stroke Only. Click OK, then deselect. Next, we will merge the streets in the stroke layer so that when stylized, the map will have a cut map feel to it. Drag the street layers to the top. Hold down Control and select the stroke only layer. Right click and choose Merge Layers. Now both the streets and the stroke outline are merged. At this point, save your work as part2begin.psd. Then immediately save as chicago2.psd. You now have the starting point for part 2 of this tutorial, saved as part2begin. Next, to stylize the streets. Press Ctrl, Alt, plus J to duplicate the street layer. Name it Streets Overlay. Control click the text BG layer. Press Ctrl, Delete to fill the bottom area with white. Add a bevel and emboss layer style. Settings of Inner Smooth, Depth 200%, Size 6, Angle 30 degrees, Altitude 30 degrees, Linear Contour. Now add a drop shadow layer style. Make the opacity 48, angle 30 degrees, distance 9 pixels, spread 9, size 6. We want the bevel layer styles to apply to the inside of the white border, but not to the outside. To fix this, right click on the effects and choose Create Layers. All the streets styles will be separated out from the streets layer. You can add a mask to it to control what and where the effect will not be visible. Select the streets inner bevel shadow. It should be on the top layer. Add a mask to it. Now you will make a selection to cover most of the outer half of the border. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Next choose Select Transform Selection. Hold down Alt and Shift while dragging on a corner. You want to stop when the lines are about halfway into the border. 
Press Enter to accept. Now inverse the selection. Press Alt or Option plus Backspace to fill the selection with black. Deselect. This will in effect remove the inner bevel shadow from the outside half of the stroked layer. Finally, we will add the map text name. Drag the text BG layer above the streets layer. Move to the top layer. Choose the text tool. I use Tahoma Bold at 75 points strong. Check the center text icon. Move the cursor to about the middle of the bottom area as demonstrated. Type in your city name text. Double click the text thumbnail. Open up the character panel. If you don't have a character panel, choose Window Character. Hover over the tracking VA symbol and drag left or right to adjust to your liking. I used 140 for this text. Press the big check mark to accept. Close the character panel. Now to center the text. Press the V key to open the Move tool. Control click the text BG thumbnail to select the bar area. Click Align Vertical Centers to align the text vertically within the bar. And click Align Horizontal Centers to align horizontally. Deselect. Select the Hand tool to turn off the Move tool. Turn off the eye of the text layer. Move to the Streets Overlay layer. Control click the text layer thumbnail, that's the big T, while holding down Alt or Option, add a layer mask to the overlay layer. Press Z for the zoom tool. Place the cursor over the text and hold down until your zoom looks good. Move to the text BG layer. Move the fill slider back and forth until you find a setting you like. I used a fill of 35% for this text. Press Ctrl or Command plus zero to fit the image to the screen. Finally, move to the river layer. Add an inner shadow layer style. With settings of opacity 64%, angle 30 degrees, distance 6 pixels, choke 3%, and size 3 pixels. Add a layer mask to the river layer. Press B for the brush tool. Paint over the problem area by the mouth of the Chicago River with a black brush inside the mask as demonstrated. Press Ctrl or Command plus zero to fit the image to the screen. To apply the same inner shadow to the lake water, right-click and choose Copy Layer Style. Select the lake layer and right-click and choose Paste Layer Style. Here is the final image. This concludes the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Coming soon downtown Chicago using the wood inlay style.